this activity we will learn which objects are magnetic and which are non-magnetic. We will try to find out difference between magnetic and non-magnetic materials. For this activity we need a plastic straw, a pencil, a plastic spoon, a spatula, some iron fillings, a glass rod, a bar magnet and a cylindrical magnet. Bring the plastic straw near the iron fillings. What do we observe? Do you find any iron filling sticking onto it? No. That means plastic straw is non-magnetic. It does not attract iron fillings onto it. Now, let us try the same activity with a pencil. Bring a sharpened pencil near the iron fillings. Do any of the iron fillings stick over it? No. This means a pencil is also non-magnetic substance. Now, let us take the plastic spoon and move it over the iron fillings. Do any of the iron fillings get attached to it? No. Plastic spoon is also non-magnetic. Take a glass rod and move it over the iron fillings very slowly. Do any of the iron fillings stick over it? No glass rod is also non-magnetic. Now take the bar magnet and bring it near the iron fillings. Do you see anything happening? Yes, the iron fillings are getting attached to the magnet. So This is a magnetic substance. Substances which can attract iron or materials made of iron are called magnetic substances. Observe all the iron fillings have become attached onto one end of the magnet. Let us remove them and put them back onto the watch glass. Now bring a cylindrical magnet near the iron fillings. Are the iron fillings getting attracted? Yes. Cylindrical magnet is also a magnetic substance which attracts iron and materials made out of iron very easily. What do we conclude from this activity? Materials which attract iron and articles made of iron are magnetic. Bar magnet and cylindrical magnet are magnetic. Materials which do not attract iron are non-magnetic. Plastic straw, pencil, plastic spoon, glass rod are non-magnetic substances. We can divide materials into two groups. Magnetic which attract iron and non-magnetic which do not attract iron.